So our recent publication demonstrates the important role of a protein called PRI1 which is acting in mam mammals that negatively regulates wind pathway which has been well studied for decades for its involvement in cell development, cell proliferation, cell migration and organ formation. So the clinical importance of this pathway has been demonstrated by mutating the components that leads to various diseases including prostate cancer, breast cancer, glioblastoma, type 2 diabetes and others. So our paper demonstrates the role of this key negative regulator for its involvement in lipid metabolism. When the function of this protein is mutated in the animals, the animals are found to have severely reduced lipid content and also reduced lifespan. Further study revealed that this protein actually might be regulating lipid synthesis and also involves yolk lipoprotein which is also conserved in humans which we feel is a very key discovery. So initially our focus was to figure out the processes that this protein regulate and as such we did the whole genome transcriptome profiling of this mutant. For the involvement of this pathway in processes like cancer and organ development what we expected are genes that are mostly involved in those processes. But to our surprise, we found that most of the genes are highly enriched in two important biological processes called lipid metabolism and aging. Okay, so in terms of uh, a bit of broader overview, is that the lipids are known to play important role in, in, in our life as well as in all organisms. And it's known that the lipid regulation is altered as we all age. But how such regulation is, is controlled, uh, what are the mechanisms, what proteins and genes are responsible for this is not very well understood. And so what we have demonstrated in this study is a very major signal transduction pathway that is a wind pathway component uh, called axin. Uh, plays an important role in lipid regulation. And in mutant and animals that lack this protein axin function, the lipid levels are significantly reduced. Whether as a result or, or related to this, uh, we found that these animals are also significantly short-lived, meaning they die sooner. So the implications are huge because it tells us that a very important signaling protein is uh, uh, playing a role in maintaining the levels of lipid as well as maintaining the aging or lifespan. And so in the future, understanding the role of this protein in humans and other organisms will allow researchers to uh, find uh, potential drugs or targets, uh, or even diagnostics, uh, to see whether lipid changes or lifespan uh, you know, defects or, or lifespan related diseases are caused by misregulation of this protein or this wind signaling pathway. So, so as a result, we think that the findings have uh, broad implications. Okay, so here uh, you can see that we've been looking at uh, in, in depth the role of the axin PRI1 gene in C. elegans uh, in lipid regulation and lifespan maintenance, aging. And we've been following a bunch of genes that we consider are targets or regulated by PRI1. And here is one, uh, for example, a kinase 9 gene that we've been uh, working on. And as you can see, the kinase 9 gene here is expressed in, in the tail part of these animals. And there's the green fluorescence that you see here. It's kind of hazy, but you could see it's background kind of green color. And that's, those are the cells or tissues that are expressing this gene. And uh, uh, based on the expression and based on some other work that uh, Avijit has done, uh, we are, uh, our model is that this private mediated this kinase gene regulation is important for stress response maintenance in animals, which will then play a role in lipid regulation and lifespan maintenance. Uh, and so this is one of the ways by which we can infer the role of the gene and we can then try and understand the mechanisms uh, of the gene function. And, and so these, these things are really exciting because we are able to explore the role of genes and proteins in these animals in live condition. These animals are not sacrificed, they are alive when they were imaged uh, and that's a really powerful. 
So I started my PhD back in 2016 in Dr. Gupta's lab as a master student. Then I transferred in onto PhD back in 2017. But my project actually stayed the same, which focused on the important role of this protein in various biological processes. But one part of the project that focused on lipid metabolism has been published recently. But our current projects are still going on, which uh, focuses on the role of this protein in stem cell regulation and also aging. So aging data will be published next year, hopefully after gathering sufficient amount of data, which is still going on in the lab currently. And stem cell publication will uh, go hopefully by the end of this year. We're very excited to tell you or share the story uh, that we have published uh, recently. Um, students in our lab uh, perceive variety of research. This is one of our main area of research. Uh, we have been working on this for the last uh, about three or four years. Uh, our next goal is to wrap up this story on uh, linking the role of PRI1 to aging and lipid. Um, I like my students to take the project on it and lead the work and, and Avijit has uh, done a remarkable amount of work in this project.